Hey guys, Brianna and Brendan here. Married in the summer of COVID, we were ready to start a life of adventure together. Ready to take on anything. After a couple years of wedding planning, new jobs, house hunting, losing a baby and gaining a puppy, and finding what it truly meant to become one, we are now ready to set sail. Ready to pursue our dream of finding true serenity and adventure in our moments of relaxation together. The pursuit of making Christ and each other priority. Tag along with us. Got new stickers today. Well, I guess we will put the boat in our name today, which is good. So now we are officially the owners of this boat per the state. And now today we're gonna get it ready. It's not like totally ready, but we're gonna get ready to go sailing because it's no fun just sitting and working on a boat and not sailing it. So we're gonna go and we're gonna Double check everything, make sure our sails are good to go. We're gonna go sailing today, hopefully. We just made it to the cottage. It's so beautiful, beautiful tonight. We're about beautiful. to go on a sunset cruise. Yeah, we're going to take the pontoon. Because yeah. our boat's not ready. Not ready. But I need to go take care of yeah, the boat. Yeah, we got to go. Okay, bye. I'm sleepy. Yeah, but what do you think? We're gonna have fun. I thought that the fitting for the engine was on a gas can that's up here. Turns out it's not. So, we're gonna try to go to a marine store tomorrow. Cause there's like only one in like an hour from here, so. Hopefully, they have what we need. If they don't, um, I don't know if we're going to get to go sailing. Don't say that. <laughs> Best um, anniversary weekend ever. And there's a fishing tournament up here. I had no idea. This is going to be fun. We'll figure it out. We found a, well, actually, I called the bait shop that is at the marina that we're launching and they said that they have the part we need. So, on our way there, we're gonna be able to put the boat in the water and 
make sure that the engine and everything runs because obviously I kind of make sure everything was good with the engine other than the oils. And then we're going to put the boat in the water, make sure the keel bolt doesn't leak from when we drop the keel to replace the keel line. And if nothing else is leaking, we'll fill up the ballast tank just to see how that's doing and make sure that that doesn't leak. Once we've done that, I think we'll drain the ballast tank and uh, motor on out to the big water. It should. I got gas in my hand. What's next now? Um, to go pay. It's game time. So Brendan is finishing up putting up the mainsail right now. Um, from my understanding, he just talked to a guy that said there are like one to two meter waves out there. So um, first time sailing, we'll see, uh, see how it goes. We got an engine. Did you go there? What did you do to your pinky? I stung. Oh, jeez. And he's allergic. Oh, 
ambition, they said, or be fun, they said. Be determined today, they said. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. How big are the waves out there? Huh? How big are the waves? How big can you handle? Well, we just talked to somebody who said they're four to six foot. There are four footers at least. Okay. At least four. Okay. Oh, yeah. They actually dropped down for a while and they kicked back up again. Well, good to know. Turns out we did not pick the best day to be sailing for our very first time. We think we probably came across a good 10 or 12 foot wave a couple times. Um, now we're headed back in. We got some sun already, my goodness. But um, I think it's been a good first experience for sure.
It was in this moment that I knew I had no idea how to sail. We have some bad news. Um, Brendan went to back in the trailer and um, his brakes locked up or something and now he blew a brake line. So I don't know what's gonna, what we're gonna do next. We'll see. We're at least on the dock though. We made it back. After messing around a little bit with the truck, we were able to at least get the boat out of the water and onto the hard. She's down. Well, how do you feel about <clears throat> today? I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I am so burnt. Actually, I wonder what, I wonder if you can tell. I've had my watch on all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, and uh, ready. We're going to go to the store and buy a bucket and a half of aloe. Probably. And eat because I'm hungry. But overall... And I'm taking a nap. <laughs> nap. Overall, how do you think it went today sailing? We learned a lot. Um, of what to do and what not to do. Right. And um, I can't think because I'm kind of tired. I know. Um... It was good. There was some scary moments because I've never been on a boat where there's been eight foot plus waves and we probably at least hit a 10 footer because it was... Yeah, I agree. I wish we had an actual, I don't know what it's called, thing that measures the wind because it said on uh, predict wind that is blowing about 13 knots, but I think that it was more like 15 to 18. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think so too. Um, I learned that I need to do way more um, studying terminology. And I said, oh, I'm just a hands-on learner, but I think it'll be better if I read the book that Brendan has been telling me to read and watch the videos he's been telling me to read. Or You're telling, read videos? Me to, <laughs> telling me to watch. We're tired. But thanks so much for watching, you guys. We really so appreciate all of you being a part of the journey um, because a journey it has been. Yeah. So like, subscribe, and uh, if you feel led to, uh, follow us on Patreon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. That's a wrap. Here's what's to come. One adventure after another. Thanks so much for watching. Be in Serenity.